Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome to a brand new HMSB news video. Today, we're going to be talking about the torpedo, the young Russian Daniel Kvyat, who is going to be returning to Formula One. Uh, obviously, uh, after having a year out of Formula One, he's going to be returning and joining Toro Rosso for the third time in his Formula One career. Obviously, he first joined Toro Rosso, uh, that's where he debuted in Formula One, and then obviously got promoted to Red Bull and got sacked out of Red Bull and got demoted back to Toro Rosso to eventually get him fired by Toro Rosso. And then obviously he joined uh, Ferrari as a development reserve driver, I believe it was, or something along those lines. Um, but he is finally going to be coming back into Formula One, uh, obviously back with the Toro Rosso Honda squad. Obviously when he drove it, they did have Renault engines, I believe. They, I think they were Renault. Um, but he's going to be coming back to the Toro Rosso team, obviously with the Honda engine. His teammate is still not confirmed. You know, no one knows if it's going to be possibly Pascal Wehrlein. Um, maybe it'll just be Brendan Hartley again. Uh, you never know, Ocon might have some sort of chance in that team somehow. Um, you know, I, I just don't know. Uh, Van Dorn, there was rumours of it being Van Dorn, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Buemi, uh, Red Bull said that won't be happening. Um, I do remember Toros did actually say that they weren't going to take Ocon because he's part of the Mercedes program, so he's probably not going to be Ocon either. Uh, so it could be Pascal Wehrlein, which would be interesting, and hopefully that is that is a thing. Obviously, Pascal Wehrlein did leave the Mercedes Junior program uh, not that long ago, so that would be a good lineup. And I think Daniel Kvyat and Pascal would do quite well. Uh, but it could just end up being Brendan Hartley, um, although I don't think that's what the team are really going for. And uh, I don't know, Brendan Hartley, he's just he's not that great of a driver. He's not doing bad, but he's not that great. There's probably ten other drivers that um, Toro Rosso could put in that car and do a better job. Uh, maybe they might look at someone in Formula Two. I'm really not too sure, but Daniel Kvyat will be in that team guaranteed for next season for the third time in his Formula 1 career. Hopefully this time he doesn't get sacked or demoted or fired or anything like that again. And hopefully he comes back as his old self when he's super quick, getting those um, podiums. Obviously I doubt he'll get podiums in a Toro Rosso, but you know, if he can get good points, finishes and all that. Um, you know, and, and then maybe one day end up in Red Bull again. You never know. But um, yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more content as always. Leave it down in the comments. How do you think Daniel Kvyat will do for his third season or third attempt in the Toro Rosso car? And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe for more content as always. And I'll see you with a brand new video very soon.